Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out this amazing parallax effect that we've created using Adobe XD and Protopie. And uh, this is a very cool looking animation. The flower blooms as you scroll down. So there are many things that which are happening, but this effect is very simple to create. So without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. Before I start, I have a Telegram channel, so join the chat. We chat about a lot of different things, design. So as you can see, I have my Adobe XD opened up here and I've placed all the text here. The font that I'm using is Works Sans. Uh, the icon is of course Adobe XD and I also have made these three arrows. Of course, not going to show you the entire process and bore you with it. The artboard, of course, what we're using is a iPhone 10 artboard and the image in the background is from tr the trusty unsplash.com. Now, what I want you to do is, of course, install Protopie. I will have the link down in the description. It's free to download and start using. Now, once you have Protopie installed and we have, of course, this ad good Adobe XD design ready, I will go to file, we'll go to export. And inside export, I have many options here. One of these options is of course, Protopie. I'll click on Protopie and it should open up. Once a Protopie is opened up, it will show you this little menu. Inside this menu, I'll select add 2x so that it looks good, of course. Uh, artboard is home scrolled. You can take reference from what name of the artboard is here. I will just maybe name it home. So I'll choose the home artboard from right here. All layer structures should be marked. And of course, uh, out here, I will also mark update layer orders and grouping structure. Now all these options are set. I'll go ahead and click on import. It'll say loading. And as you can see, it has already imported the entire di design right here. Everything here is of course, either text, group or images, which is, per which is perfectly fine with us. Now in the device, of course, I would like an iPhone 10. Since I had iPhone 10 there, I can select out of iOS, Android, desktop or custom. Under iOS, I'll select iPhone 10 and I'll press OK. The new artboard has been set up and it's automatically adjusted. If I click here, as you can see, the preview will always be here. So you can see how the preview looks. You can scroll up and down. Of course, we'll enable that. So inside Protopie, I would like to first of all delete this flower bud because it's in our way and everything else looks perfectly fine. Now we need a blooming rose here. How do we do that? Okay, so for this experiment, I'll go to Google Images and inside Google Images, I will type in rose blooming GIF. GIF, GIF, that's another argument. Uh, in tools right here, I will click on color and I'll say transparent. We want a transparent background, that is for sure. There are a lot of options, but I want this particular one, Blooming Flower GIF Style 1963. And I'll click on this, and as you can see, it's a very clear GIF, which is of the rose popping out and blooming. So I will right click here, and I will click on Save Image As. I'll save it in one of my document folders, and that's about it. I will open up easygif.com. It's one of my favorite websites where you can control and edit GIFs. Now I want to click on this option on the top, which says split. And inside here, I'll click on browse and I'll open the GIF that I had just downloaded, which is this one. I'll click on it and I'll say upload. As you can see, it's now opened up here. And I of course have various options here. In this drop down, what I'll say, I'll click on output images in PNG format. And that's about it. And I'll say split frames. And it might take a few seconds, but as you can see, it has extracted all the frames from the GIF for us. I will say download frames as zip. Perfect. Now, once I've extracted the folder here, as you can see, I have all the images here. I will basically now drag out and select all the images in this folder drag it inside Protopie and it automatically will fit in. As you can see, it's now right now, it's a little freaky, but it's fine. What I will do is there are 25 layers here. So I'll click on the first layer, which is 25 and go down to frame zero. And I'll hold shift and click so that I can select all of these. Now here on the top right, there are options to set it onto some area on this artboard. I'll click on this 
uh, top right option which is align bottom just like this and what I will do is I will also click on align center perfect now that the roses are overlapping I will drag them to the bottom here and make sure that they are centered along with this artboard on the right there's this lock icon this icon is locked it's not unlocked like this it's locked and I will select say 560 pixels on the width as you can see it automatically adjusts the flowers for us now it's the idea this is what I was looking for this is the idle size that I wanted I'll just visually place it in the center this is perfect now except the first frame which is frame 00, zero right here all of the other frames on the top will be zero in opacity if I go to the bottom right here there is an opacity option I'll just change it to zero as you can see I can now just see this bud at the bottom now don't worry I will be giving the protopy file in the description so you can download it and start doing it as well now one last step before we get on to prototyping is now here on the top left I have an option which says container I'll click on this and out of the drop down I'll select scroll container now it automatically places a rectangle here what I will do is adjust it based on our artboard and that is about it now I will select everything in this artboard except the container here I'll just select everything and what I will do is drag this and drag it inside this container perfect see how they've been placed slightly towards the right now so it indicates that it's now a part of this scroll container anything I put outside this container will lead to me scrolling towards that so what I'll do is now place select these shapes on the top left and click on this oval automatically creates an oval for me and I'll make sure it's outside this I will drag this oval and place it inside this container as well now I can't really see it but it's right there if I go to the preview on the top right here I'll have this preview on top I can drag and as you can see it's now scrolling just like this this looks pretty good I can either scroll or drag to scroll now that we have our scroll ready to go what I will do is I'll go ahead and in the top right I have this add trigger button I'll click on add trigger I have a lot of options come which have come up by clicking on add trigger I have a lot of options here under conditional I want to click on range I'll click on range and it'll the range option will be attached here now inside range I want to click on container one so it selects the R scroll container in here and I will have to assign a certain range so imagine we are scrolling and we scroll between 20 to I don't know 40 pixels so a difference of 20 and this range will have 20 to 40 perfect one more thing you need to make sure is under this X where there is X I will click on X and inside X I have so many options I will click on scroll so this will only trigger when I'm scrolling perfect so 20 pixels from the top and 40 up to 40 pixels so under this I'll click on this plus and I will click on opacity so we need to set the opacity of this flower to zero so we'll do that first which is our frame uh, zero zero I'll opacity two is fine and I'll make sure the value here is zero ease and out duration I want to set to zero as well so 0.0, .0 and it will do that and that's about it we won't fiddle with anything else I'll click on plus again and I'll click on opacity once more inside here I want the next flower petal to appear so frame 01 in this case I'll set the opacity to a hundred which is our full opacity and that's about it under duration I'll set it to 0, 0.0 perfect now if I preview this if I'm scrolling slightly see how this rose opened up a little bit I'll show it to you again if I click on preview again or if I click on run and press preview again see see how that rose actually opened up just a bit now we need to do this a couple of times so what I'll do is click on this range on the keyboard type in command C or control C to copy this place this out and select after this and say command V or control V and as you can see it's copied this action and in this range what I'll do is I'll change the values from 40 to 60 so another 20 pixels 
that's about it. Inside opacity, what I'll do is I'll set the previous frame, which is frame 01, and the next frame, which is frame 02, which is frame 02. So frame 2 will appear 100% opacity, and frame, frame 1 will disappear 0% opacity. Now I'll copy this a couple of times until I get all the frames right, and then we will move forward. Now, if you have set up all these ranges according to what I have instructed, and in every other range you have given opacity 100% to the next flower and reduced the opacity to the previous flower, it will run perfectly. Now we have all these options I've set, I've made a few changes also here and there, but that's about it. So if I click on run and I go ahead and click on preview, as you can see, if I scroll, see how this flower opens up, that is nice. If I scroll, see how this smoothly just transitions, this looks good. Let's run it one more time, run, preview, scroll, oh, this looks wonderful. I hope you liked today's short tutorial. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also, click on that like button so that, of course, more people get to see this video. I post every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.